Okay, so right before I begin with this uh, technique, I want to um, clarify some points. In this performance, notice the playing cards can be uh, shuffled by the spectator and there is no uh, marker any way that I can uh, tell which cards these are by looking at them. Uh, actually, I'm not even going to look at them. I can be blindfolded and with that uh, in mind, uh, I'm going to proceed with the performance. Now, I'm going to try to separate the, the number cards from the picture cards based on the weight because some uh, magicians, they've been trying to work with this, well, gamblers actually, uh, with this technique, trying to tell which card uh, is more heavy based on the ink. You know, for example, let me give you an example. Uh, try to measure the weight of this playing card. Now I'm trying to keep my hands as close as I can on the table, so there is no way there are reflections or, or any other way uh, I can give it a pick, you know. Uh, well, I'm gonna put the, the picture cards because I believe this is a little bit heavier than this. So I'm gonna do the whole deck of cards and see if um, um, how, how accurate I am with this. Uh, Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Okay, sometimes it's kind of easy, you know, to tell by the by the weight. Okay, because it's not easy um, to tell the quantity of the ink. Sometimes it's quite easy. Sometimes it is not. Now, um, I'm trying to keep it as close as I can on the table, so there is no way I can look at them. I can be, like I said, blindfolded. I'm not even, I'm not even looking at the cards anyway, just by the instinct, you know. And I try not to delay too much. Sometimes it's not an easy uh, task. But uh, okay, I'm gonna put them over here. I'm gonna show the cards uh, at the end. All right, so let's see if this works. These are the number cards. No, okay, no picture cards so far. Let me split them up. There you go. So now let's see these cards. All in each and every one is a picture card. All this without even looking at the cards. With this technique, you can find out the aces. You can find out any full house, any um, any hand, poker hand, any technique you like. Okay, for the the secret, um, all I'm using is needles. So um, this is a regular thickness, a regular needle. This is, uh, I believe, at least half of the thickness. Now, uh, what I'm going to do with the needles is I'm going to put a mark. This one over here. I'm going to put a mark right here on the corner. Now, for this uh, method that I'm using the performance, you can do it in the... Um, I try not to go all the way through, you know, because it's going to leave a huge uh, um, a hole over here. I try just to leave a little bump, you know, over here. Um, this is the regular, you know, the conven 
conventional needle. And this needle, this is half the thickness, so this is quite easy. You can go all the way through and it's not gonna leave a big marks, I mean big uh, holes or bumps, you know. But uh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because uh, you need to have a good uh, touch on the cards. And since this is not really thick needle, uh, it can leave a little bumps which the holes are not really easy to see. With these ones, yes, this is too thick, you know. So I try not to go all the way through, just the little point, you know. You can leave it on the solid surface over here and try just to go a little bit. Over here in the other corner. And you know, sometimes uh, people will try to do each and every card so uh, they can tell by just touching which card is it. But the problem with it is that uh, if people is going to be doing each and every card, uh, you give it uh, to the audience to shuffle it, they, they will clearly tell, you know, by touching the cards. So you don't really want to do all of them. You just want to go ahead and and just do for a routine you need not all the cards okay uh, for example i in the, the 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 picture cards i put a dot right here over here because by the time that i deal this card in mechanics grip uh, i have it in mechanics grip and when i give it to my in the dealing position basically you know uh, you can feel the little bump over here by the time i give the card to my hand i can tell right away the little bump so i know which is the the picture card and the the more you shuffle the playing cards the the more the bumps are gonna disappear so maybe this is gonna last like for three to five routines then you will have to do it again and use the needle to uh, to do the little dot but you don't wanna do the four corners because uh, you wanna minimize it as much as you can just from uh, different corners over here and this one over here too Otherwise, uh, when you give it uh, to the spectators so they can shuffle it, so they don't feel it, you know, because otherwise they, they feel it right away. Uh, you put it in each and every corner. Uh, so this way they can in, uh, inspect. You can give it away for inspection and, uh, and the audience is not gonna be able to tell right away uh, the method. The problem is if you do this technique blindfolded is um, the audience is gonna suspect because if you are really not looking at the cards, then it has to be some other method which is by by feeling it, you know. Another thing you wanna be concerned is that when you put it against the light, uh, this is it's gonna be easier for uh, the spectator to see the reflection and they, they will see the little bump, you know, right here. Probably try to use, you know, half thickness as any conventional needle. I don't really know the thickness, uh, but uh, this is half of the thickness. This is a conventional one. This is the, the typical ones, you know, you find everywhere. Mm -hmm.